Come on, guys. Let's go. Get us to the top of the recommendations list. How about that? Bonjour, monsieur. Oh, you are off today. That's what's going on. Oh, okay, okay. Make us the number one recommended streamer under the retro games tag. Can we do that? I think we can. So let's see. Bonjour, monsieur. Mr. John, Steve, Sam. Guys, welcome into the stream. Hello, hello. I'm making sure that we are going to be sprung to the top of the list because we are number one. That's how we roll here, right? Right. So you know how? Oh, you finished at 930 yesterday. Damn, you had a long day. I got you good on that, man. That's no bueno. No bueno. What's up, Brian? Welcome in, guys. Make sure you hit the like. Say hello in the chat. Do all those really awesome things can't do what already is got to go to work have a good one thank you nick i appreciate you coming through the stream man what's up axel i think i've uh this this microphone's being sussy right now i don't know hey scott what's up buddy how are you welcome into the stream guys make sure that all my buttons and everything's good to go eyes are dotted t's are crossed volumes at an acceptable level Kershwin says, have a good stream. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate you coming through. What's up, Dean? Welcome in, my dude. You guys are just passing through. Please make sure you hit the like button. Say hello in the chat. Let's get the Sonic Wednesday started, considering that, holy God, today is already Wednesday. All the stuff we're done. I'm waiting for the last server guy to come back. Close everything. Ah, is the bot on? Uh, let's find out. Yes. I can restart it though. There we go. I restarted it for you. <laughs> now try the bot. Whoa. That's like the longest star power ever. That was like the longest star power ever. There it is. There it is. Let's go. The platform is that, and what game is that? Sonic, Sonic 3. Uh, Pelham, this is Sonic 3 Angel Island Revisited. And I'm playing this on PC. This is a fan-made... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a fan-made add-on for Sonic 3 and Knuckles. That's like the best way. What's up, Reddy? It's only on... Well, it's on PC, and apparently there's a Nintendo Switch port as well. But you have to have a modded console for it. Come on. Really, Sonic? Really? <laughs> what's up, Nick? In my regards, Mrs. Blast. Absolutely, man. She's doing a lot better. She actually went back to work today. So she's doing much, much better. We're we going to see Ro Black Nick again. You know, honestly, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be glitched. I guess I'll find out, right? The show. Thank you guys all so much, also, for interacting with all the content. Um, like the stuff that I put on TikTok and all that stuff, that really does help a lot. I'm really trying to grow out the other platforms and all that good stuff so what's up james i see you sir mm, don't do that what's up patrick i haven't used metal sonic well at least ultimate metal anyway what's for the substream later that i'm not sure um i haven't figured that out yet I mentioned resident evil last night but i was like eh, i really gotta be in the mood to play it so we'll see though what's up matt welcome in What's up, Frank? Welcome in, dude. I guess we'll find out if we're going to see uh, Roblacknik, as you guys called him yesterday, or just now. So... I hope he's not glitched out. I think that was a... Uh, whatever Sonic I used last week that was making him do that. Plus, it also matters um, which order you put the mods into. So, GBF on golf. <laughs> What's up, Peter? Welcome, welcome. Oh, it is actually the same uh, extra life noise that I don't really need because, uh, well, we have 99. I wish it went up to 999, but you know. So what's up with you guys? Today feels like Wednesday, but at the same time it doesn't. It feels like it's later in the week. It was Knuckles for the Queen. Oh, oh, you know what I did? I did, um, 
whatchamacallit. I did uh, the Sonic Mania characters last time. That's what it was. What's up, Mackie? Thank you, Scott, for the likes, dude. Appreciate you guys coming through, helping us out with that. What's up, Robert? Welcome in. Genesis, welcome to the stream. Get up there. Oh my God. Okay, so I've died of those before. There we go. We don't want to do that. Dimarian, welcome to the stream. What's up, Leone? Welcome in. That was right. I did Knuckles for Mother's Day on Sunday. Hello, hello. Ugh. Here we go. What's going on, my dude? How are you, man? There she is. She should be home soon, actually. Da -da -da -da. What's up, Chris? Welcome in. Yeah, when with no Ro with Ro Black Nick. Yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. I guess we'll find out here shortly. He should be back to normal though. I, I don't make no promises, guys. Watching him power up and float down reminds me of Magneto. Welcome to die. You are dead. <laughs> the English is awful in that game. Never played with Metal Sonic before? Oh, really? This is a good Metal Sonic mod, so it's called Ultimate Metal. I think he's regular. He is. He's normal. Uh, what's up, Clyde? Welcome in. What's up, Josh? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the likes. Four tails. He's got the fully powered up mode, too. Yeah. What's up, Elvin? The whole objective is to get through this without dying, guys. If you guys want to help us out, Keep the page full time with the content. Let's hit 50% of the star goal today. That would be amazing. It would be a miracle if we were to do something like that. Even 50 stars gets us that much closer to it. What's up, Q? Welcome in, man. You would like exclusive content on the page and all that good stuff. Make sure you become a subscriber as well. Got to bring that subscriber count back up. Star bombs for spicy jelly beans. I know I'm still waiting on a little graphic thing that I asked Jay to make. He's a beastie guy, though. What's up, Steven? I'm not a huge fan of those sriracha beans, but I know they have to be consumed, even though I'd rather just toss them all out. Give me that bubble shield. Actually, you know what? I don't even think I need a bubble shield for Metal Sonic. I think uh, only regular Sonic needs that. I don't know. What's up, Carlos? Wilson, welcome in. See, I don't know if he can, though. To try without a shield to see if he can drown. I don't think he can in this mod. I don't think he can. Been watching busy with Rising and Moving. Dude, I know the move struggle, man. That move struggle is expensive and very time consuming. Trust me, I know, man. It's good to see you, sir. Chronic the ledge dog. What? Oh, that's right. He can do that. Oh. There we go. Good old Metal Sonic. I am the hype. That metal head. What's up, Michael? It's catchy as hell, guys. All the extra lives. I wish it went to 999. I would already be at 999, but still, you know. What's up, Eric? Welcome in. All right, get up here. Yeah. The only thing is, like, even when you're supersonic, you still can't do the double jump. Well, hypersonic. So. And you can't use the, I don't know, the shield bubbles, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's sussy. But I can use the power-up thing where I flash the screen like that. Come on, Tails. Get him. Eh. Break him. There we go. You, I like the jazz version of this. I think that's an act two, isn't it? You like the new music? Yeah, me too, man. Me too. More stars for the Queen John with the first 200 stars of the day. Let's go. 
More stars for Doc Queen. Jesus! Jesus! Getting ready for work. How's the weather, Adam? It's hot as balls here, dude. It's 88 degrees here right now. It's windy, but it's not like windy where it's keeping it cooler outside. Trust me, man. First stars of the day. Let's go. Oh, no, no, don't do that. There you go. Spin dash. You got to get up there. You got to get up there. You're not invincible, sir. And don't get crushed up there either. What's up, Shayna? Welcome in. Hello, hello. Catherine, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Sometimes I like the little shield that Sonic gets instead, but it is what it is. What's up, Tom? Now that actually makes Metal Sonic invincible when he does that. Um, there's not many places where you run into enemies though, so it's kind of like, I don't really know where I would use that, you know? This is more like it. Yeah, this is a little more subdued than the, the heavy metal rock, you know? Low 40s and windy makes it feel like it's in the 30s. Damn. How do you guys have such weird weather right now? Thank you, Missy, for the double likes. It is literally, it's still not even officially summer yet. And it's almost 90 degrees today. Again. So. Sussy is what it is. Cloudy weather, cool temps, rain, and thunderstorms. The sun can't handle the heat. Yeah, I can't either, dude. I can't either, man. I don't want to go back to doing the outside labor work. That's literally all that's really hiring around here is that st type of stuff. And it's just can't handle it, man. It's too hot. So I don't know if I can actually like. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, almost didn't make it. See you in a bit on my way home. Please be careful on your way home, miss. I told Mrs. Blash she's crazy for. Oh, God driving with her eye the way it is but she seems to be okay though what's up reuben so i believe her wait did i get the extra life up there i had to have. yeah i did okay we're gonna smash that goal shield it's uh magneto magneto sonic i'm too hot that's probably why i'm single <laughs> that's gotta be it <laughs> It's gotta be it, sir. I don't know why Sega has never given us an official Metal Sonic game. There's so many cool things about him that I don't understand why we just haven't gotten him as a character. He should have his own damn game. But I guess they just deem him as a, I don't know, background character, which is insane. It is what it is. What's up, Marshy? And my eye. Drive home in one piece, please. I'm trying not to spam the hypersonic powers with all the Chaos Emeralds right meow. I'm trying to just be regular Sonic and not feel like I'm cheating the game, you know? Do it the right way, you know? Go, go, go. What's up, Michael? Welcome in, dude. Whoa, that was close. Almost didn't make that. Jose, welcome to the stream, my dude. How are you? Kano's got 830 days followers. You always have Rubens here. I just noticed that every time. I'm moderately between the OKS. That's probably why I'm still sick. Well... Maybe. As he laughs at me the whole time. Damn you, Knuckles. Wasn't there a thing in Sonic Adventure where you could be Metal Sonic or you fight him or something? I think you, have to, you can fight him. Let go of me, Tails. Come on. Oh my God. I could have literally had... 
Wow, Tails. There we go. There we go. We got him. Exactly. So I'm doing good today. That's good, man. Two-player battle mode. Yeah. Well, I was trying to let it so that I could just jump up there and keep bouncing off of Eggman's little ship, but if he's still flying, he'll grab your hands if you get too close to him. That's basically Tails in a nutshell. Took me a long time before I realized that I'm actually attracted to whether people see it or not. Exactly, see? That's the mindset. Feel good today? Yeah, I'm feeling all right today. Another lovely day in uh, this thing called life. Life paradise. Is that what it is? I think. What's up, Brian? Welcome in. Estoy al al secho. Shantae, what's up, my dude? Oh, boy. That was close. Have you played Tears of the Kingdom yet? Nope. Don't care for it. I can't bring myself to spend $70 on that game. Uh, I just didn't like Breath of the Wild, and especially considering the price tag Nintendo has on that thing. No. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. And the thing is, that game will never go on sale because it's a Nintendo game. It's a first-party Nintendo game. So, uh, I just can't do it, man. I'm not saying I'll hate the game, but it's one of those. I won't put the time in. I feel like I won't get my money's worth out of the game. Does that make sense? Oh boy, get out of there. Like I'll spend 70 bucks on the game and I'll maybe get like $10 worth of entertainment out of it. For me personally. Which Sonic is this? Uh, Shane, this is uh, Sonic 3 Angel Island Revisited. Featuring Ultimate Metal Sonic today. Party of the first party Nintendo top. Exactly. I just... Games like that never go on sale. Nintendo knows it and they don't care. Because they still make their money. Look how easily everybody bought into a $70 Zelda game. So now we've essentially given Nintendo the okay to price out their first party titles in the future at $70. Oops, sorry, Tails. Just saying. It's gonna happen. So what do you think the price of the next Zelda game is gonna be? $70. Same amount you got out of Pokemon Violet. Exactly. I uh, didn't play it for that long. I personally, I was really excited for those games. And as much as I liked Arceus, Arceus, whatever you guys want to call it, um, Violet was a huge disappointment for me. And a lot of it also came from the fact that the game performed so poorly on native hardware. Awful. So... <clears throat> You played the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course. Oh. Damn, how did you get that yet? What's up, Kashan? Welcome in. And I really wanted to like Pokemon Violet and Scarlet, whatever. Um, but just... I couldn't. I couldn't. <clears throat> Is it still bad today? Really? And then Nintendo gets pissed off when people emulate their games. So it's like, come on, you guys aren't helping us. What's up, Steven? They never put games on sale. They never will. What's up, Josh? Um, you can still find dead stock of Smash Bros. Brawl for $30 brand new if you find them anywhere in retail stores. The game came out in 2008. Just saying. What's up, Mr. Rockstar? How's it going, dude? So you'll never see that game go on sale ever. Ah, oh, shiz. Okay, we did it. Hello, hello, sir. I should go in a bonus game, right? Yeah, let's get some rings. Who got that seven months? Who was that, James? Damn, dude, really? 
Seven months they put Hentai World on sale. <laughs> I'm sure they did. Yo, what's up, Tom? Same old, same old, dude. We're living that dream on this uh, Sonic Wednesday. Can't believe that today is already Wednesday. No, where are you going with them rings? Pokemon still on the wall, and it slows down a lot in weather and in water. I can't, man. It makes me so mad because we paid full retail for that. And then leave it to the fans to put like a 60 FPS patch, performance fixes, and everything on an emulator for that game, you know? Just saying. Then Nintendo gets mad when people emulate their stuff. Even to this day, when did that game come out? When did Violet and Scarlet come out? What, uh, November of last year? October? What, we're like seven months, eight months away from release and they're still having performance problems with that game on the Switch? The Switch is a great console, guys. It really is. That's because Hentai Fighters 11 is coming out. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they got to put the older games on sale first. November 17th or 18th. Okay, so it was... Okay. So we're about six months removed, seven months removed from when that game came out. Oh, Nintendo. What's up, Joe? Welcome in. Time to play Immortals Phoenix Rising. That's actually... I've heard it's a pretty good clone of Breath of the Wild. I prefer Watermelon Hentai Fighters. Well, I prefer Part 5, sir. You guys are new to the page and you're just joining in welcome in thank thank you so much for hanging out don't forget press the like button and say hello in the chat all of that really cool stuff really does help a lot believe it or not and it's all free to do it what's up elias welcome in i enjoyed it a lot i heard it was a very underrated title <clears throat> dot came in forget about breath of the wild really Isn't the same game right i mean forgive my ignorance on it overall I wouldn't say it's the same game. I feel like Tears of the Kingdom kind of gives you more to do overall. But I just didn't like it. I didn't like the open worldness of it. To me personally, uh, Breath of the Wild felt very overwhelming. Just couldn't do it. I always share React leave several comments. Well, good. I appreciate that, sir. You guys didn't know that's how facebook measures how well any given video or live stream is going to do on the platform that's it it's not how much uh monetary gain you get of course that's that benefits the page and for me to keep staying full time but that's how much that's how we know where it's going to go in the algorithm is when how fast you guys like share react all that stuff what's up roy a whole new experience. I don't want to give spoilers. No, 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 no spoilers. It's okay. I totally get it. What's up, Felix? It's just a very overwhelming game for me. There's so much to do. And it's like, you usually don't do more than one save file in a game like that. Uh, you end up just doing the one and then you run with that forever. And that's it. It's rare that you ever want to go back and do another playthrough of it. I mean, unless you really, really like the game. So going on fellas welcome in that mexican aaron rogers hbk will soon be exiting stage right wow oh yeah there is it's a huge game there's a ton of stuff to do it felt like the world was bland yeah and that's the issue i also had with um pokemon violet and scarlet the worlds were they're so big and vast but there wasn't really much anything to do Arceus was kind of like that, but at least Arceus had a very good performance. It played just fine. So, yeah, you know, I'm living the dream, sir. Oh, excuse me. I'm here. I made it. I was on the bag and I hit back. I thumbed myself in the eye. Yo, what is up with everybody in the, the eyeball injuries? I told Mrs. Blast is making jokes about the eyeball thing. I was like, zero out of ten would not recommend. <laughs> That's true. With uh, Tears of the Kingdom, they did incorporate the AMD FSR 
I should have done that with the Pokemon games, but they decided to rush them out because they knew the games would sell because it's Pokemon. So there's that. Uh, Darlin, welcome to the stream. I love seeing new names and new faces here. So if you are brand new, let me know where you're hailing from, where you're watching the stream from. And you don't have to be specific and say, I'm watching from my phone in the bathroom. I mean, I guess if you want to. The uh, Scarlet and Violet Pokemon games, those definitely could have benefited from AMD FSR. Something, anything, dude. Some of that gameplay was coming to a crawl at like, what? Less than 20 frames a second? Texas, baby! Yeah, Facebook loves pushing my streams out to Texas. <laughs> I have a lot of viewers and people from Texas. Yeah, that, that, those two games definitely could have benefited from that. But no! Stay awesome! I was making jokes saying, yo, I got gotcha. you. I'm from Brazil. Well, I have a lot of viewers in Brazil, too. Uh, Brazil and South America in general. But welcome in. Heading to work. Ooh! 806, represent. Don't work too hard today, Eric. Just kind of do your thing. I say nothing, sir, about bathroom con. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to tell you. What's up, Derek? Welcome in, dude. Oh, it took me that way. Sweet. I don't think they'll completely fix Scarlet and Violet. It's not as important to Nintendo as Mario and Zelda. I agree. Pokemon just sells by the name only. It's, it's Pokemon. I mean, you hear Pokemon and everybody loses their minds, you know, so... So Pokemon doesn't need to be fixed because people will still buy it. And then there's people who will make excuses as to say things like, oh yeah, well, it's just a big game. The Switch can't handle it. And it's like, but it should though. What's up, kid? Time to hop on Street Fighter Air and go to Brazil. <laughs> USSR. Yeah, I love all the hidden little walls and stuff in the zone. What's up, Jason? Welcome in, dude. Whoa. Please don't fall. Really? Come on. Get over. Eh. I'm trying not to jump too far. There we go. Because I don't want to get crushed by that. Yeah, that would kill me instantly. Even for old Metalhead. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, there you go. So I wonder if I can hit him with this shield on because it's electrified. Not actually damage him, but... Oh yeah, I can, yeah. Come on. Ugh, come on. Oh my god. I can't have this. <laughs> this is just scary. This thing will break every platform before you get a chance to actually... There you go. Woo! Rocky, hey, yo. 60 FPS. Oh, dude, it runs great. Uh, I use Yuzu. I love that emulator. What's up, Joey? Yuzu is a great program. It's awesome. Pokemon is not Nintendo. Nintendo is a publisher on developer. It's still heavily... Co protected by Nintendo, sir. Just saying. Boom, boom. There you go, Mackie. It's not the the beta. There goes my shield. No. Damn it. But I see what you mean, though. Yes, it is from... It's called the Pokemon Company, though, isn't it? Once you get set up, it, it's, it is. Um, the other one that works really well, too, that I've never actually set up was that Ryujinx or whatever it's called. Um, that one seems to get better support earlier on for a lot of new releases. Um, but, I, I mean, I'd like to think that Nintendo is going to be focusing more on a um, performance-based console. Like, run the same games, but just make them run better. You know, so... What's up, Ben? Welcome in. That's what I think they're going to be going to next. Hopefully it's a console that still plays Switch games. I have a lot of games on there, so... 
So there you go. Niantic Game Freak, the Pokemon company. Exactly. See? That's Tails doing that. Yo, what up, Masmiga? Oh my god, that was close. That'll run high-end games. I think they tried that with PlayStation 5 and... I don't know. It's like there's problems with everything you release. Um, even with PC, you still have to upgrade them every couple of years. And a lot of that boils down to game developers. Their games demand more power to run properly in the vision that the developers envisioned. And, uh, you know, it's it becomes more and more expensive, you know? So, oh, Nintendo needs to. Metal Sonic, that's awesome. What's up, Matt? Welcome in, dude. Don't get crushed here. Because that would be bad. Gotta get that ring. Crap, I gotta get up here. He can't jump high enough. It's ridiculous. He should have the double jump, but I guess that would make him too OP. This is Tails doing this. Thank you. <laughs> I had to do it, guys. I'm sorry. Tails is the Highlander. He always comes back. Don't worry. Oh, Jesus. What's up, Abby? Welcome into the stream. Finish up work. Glad I got to catch you, bro. It's been too long. Absolutely, sir. Have a good rest of your work shift. And, uh... Don't lose yourself in Tears of the Kingdom, even though you probably should. If you enjoy it, that's what matters. Game Freak is the... Oh, shiz. Um, Pokemon Company. Niantic is just a partner developer for mobile games. But they make a lot of money. What's up, bro, Bronin? Hi and bye. She just got home, so long day. First day back to work since the eyeball injury on Friday. This is doing quite a bit better. Uh, the eye drops we bought are a lifesaver. Highlanders aren't immortal. They can unalive. Well, tell that to Tails then, sir, because he's definitely never al unalived. So, just saying. There you go. This song is a lot more chill than the other one. What's going on, my dude? How are you, man? Oh, Tails, what are you doing, you big goof? Oh, come on. Jesus. Tails just screwed me up. It's his fault. Come on, my boy. Oh, uh, Tails is, my eye is sore from getting computer. Oh yeah, you got the digital eye strain today. That's how you know you're gonna need new glasses soon. Zuh. My luck, that barrel will be flying down and I'll be underneath it. And then I'll unalive instantly. Pokemon Go. Oh my God, that was close. Maybe a free game, but it's like Fortnite in-game transactions. Oh yeah. I can't imagine how much money some people spend on games like that. That's insane. That can only be one. <laughs> I don't think PS5 doesn't have as a way to use a standalone hard drive like Xbox. Oh, really? There's no way to hook up like an external drive to that thing? Seriously? No. That's so Sony. Oh, shiz. What am I doing? Finally, turn the lights back on. Jeez. He pays electric bill. You know what? I got 400 rings. Let's see if I can get 300 more. Get uh 700 plus rings on this Raher. It can only be one. That's Tails. Tails is the Highlander. He always comes back. He always does. Especially to ruin a gameplay. Home and safe. Wonderful. Oh, actually. Nope, no coding for it. Only a flash drive. You can install it. Wow. That's a Sony thing right there, guys. For real. That is a Sony thing. 
robbing their customers blind. That's just what they do. Damn, not 300, but almost, I guess. I know I need a casino. Let me go gamble. <laughs> I think this zone is the one, well, between this and, what is it, um, launch base zone? That's the other one you can get a lot of rings in too. Yo, what up, Gravy King? Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it, man. Let's go. What about low grounders? Exactly. They don't know, Adam. They're not know, they're not oh, knowing what they do. Yeah. Wait, who is it? There he goes. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that, man. Get up here, Tails. Easy. Nice. Yeah. Dude, that was close. I don't know if it would actually crush me, but I don't want to take that risk and die. So. Get up there. Love me some Sonic. What's up, Don? Welcome in, dude. Thank you for the likes earlier. Appreciate it. PS5 Pro will probably have a better hard drive space for games. I hope it does, man. You can't even like re like rely on a one terabyte hard drive anymore because games are 30, 40, 50 gigabytes and more, depending on what it is. Launch Octo... Not saying it. Not saying it. No. Oh, almost 700 rings. That's 691 rings. We don't have the, the drop dash with the ground stomp. I snuck and watched that show as a kid. Holy crap. He can never unalive himself. Oh, go this way. Yeah, look at... So I feel like, <laughs> like Call of Duty started that trend where it's okay to make your games 100 gigabytes. Look at Warzone. I don't understand where Nintendo was going when they made a Switch console that only had 32 gigabytes of hard drive space. The and even then, I think it's like flash memory. I don't even think it's actual hard drive. So and that was in 2017. I think Warzone's been a thing since what, like 2018, something like that. I thought you could, I thought you could uh, play Warzone at one point on the Switch. Oh no, they haven't done a Call of Duty game on, on Nintendo's consoles in a while. Oh boy. Excuse me, coming through. Hard times. Aren't we all going through those? <laughs> Valhalla has 150 gigs of all the DLC, see? So now when you get a one terabyte hard drive on a console, you usually end up with about what 800 and something 825 gigs that's a huge amount of space for one game with the right plug you could though maybe bong, 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 run i really wish you could go past 99 lives in this game USB to USB converters are a lifesaver. That's true. Yeah. It's about 825 gigs. So let's say if you really, really like Assassin's Creed and all the DLC, you really like Warzone, you like Fortnite. Two of those are esports titles, which are very popular now. So you can't stop this mother. Holy. Shit balls. Holy shit balls. <laughs> the Zord that should have been released on screen instead of the comics. The Dragon Tiger Megazord. Why isn't that ringing a bell how that looks? Did they ever combine at any, any point? I don't remember that. It was only in the comics. Okay, it was only in the comics. Antonio, welcome in. Don't let Tails touch those platforms because... Yeah, there you go. What's up, Jordan? I had to buy another SD card just so I wouldn't have to delete stuff on the Switch. Yeah, it's ridiculous, dude. 32 gigs? Like, what? I have that 
Um, and I have a 128 gig card on my Switch. Which I don't play any esports or any large memory hog games on my Switch. All that's on PC. He did. But just didn't like how everyone was all over Ezio. He wasn't even that cool. Maybe he was, sir. Loving the t-shirt. Well, yay! Yay. Hence the 8 terabyte hard drive I bought. I don't blame you, man. Tails is working for both sides. He is. He's, he's a traitor. <laughs> well, we can assume, and I've said this before, maybe he just, he kidnapped or he took back Metal Sonic and reprogrammed him. How about that? That's where I'm going to go with that. Hey, was, Tavares, what's up, man? I like Altair better than Ezio. Release a licensed external hard drive for the Switch instead of the micro SD cards. I know. Hello, Queen. Welcome into the stream. I agree. SD cards are cheaper, though. I think they would have made more money. Whoa. Oh, no. They would have made more money if they made, like, officially licensed Nintendo hard drives. I'll leave Tails alone. <laughs> nah, Tails is a good guy. He took back Metal Sonic and he reprogrammed him for good. That's why he's working with him right now. My eyes tried playing tricks on me. When? What do you mean? How'd they do that, man? Get out of here, Tails. Don't try to mess up my spring. Hit Smoker. What's up, man? Welcome in. What's up, Scotty? Welcome in, dude. Oh, come on. I hate when it does that. Arr. All right, let's try it again. Sonic 2, Metal Sonic, and Sonic 3. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, he is a selectable character in this game. Somebody made a mod called Ultimate Metal, and that's what uh, this one is. Pretty sure he's invincible like this. Make no promises though. I don't know. I think he is, but you have to have a lot of running speed to get him to do that. And it takes a minute for it to charge up too. I haven't really found a boss I can run into with it or an enemy. Time your jumps just right. Oh boy. No! Thanks, Tails, for helping me out with that, buddy. Must have joined the Blast multiplayer days. Wait, this stage right here? Now he wants to help. Freaking Tails. Music is awesome. Oh, in this zone? Yeah, I like it. I like Flying Battery. Flying Battery is my favorite uh, music. It's very catchy. You could melt right through that. I think you can still do this. You can stand here and get a free extra life or keep getting lives, I think. I don't know. Unless they changed it. Maybe they did. I don't know. The lunch babe zone. Oh, God. Get up there. Yeah. Don't touch those guys. I don't know if I could actually hurt them with my electric shield. I always hit them with regular Sonic with the insta shield, but I don't know. 
for the substream later, but I don't think a lot of supporters have that game. No, not a lot of people have that game, unfortunately. Problem is, too, is that it's only four players. I think only me, you, and Ryan have that game. Unless there's any other subs that have it. That's the tough part. The launch bathe zone. Oh my god. What's up, D Clem? I see you, sir. Now I'm listening to the song on loop. <laughs> holy shit, boss. Holy shit, boss. <laughs> Love it. I tried to do something with a song, but there was something about the copyrights on that would not. Not playing nice. I don't get it, man. Brunch Haze phone. Oh no, you're trying to take Andy's job. You know, my dude, same old, same old stuff. We're just living that dream. Or at least we're trying to live out that dream, you know? Uh, I lost the music. There we go. Good thing I can change back and forth, because that'd be weird playing this level for the rest of this time and not having any music. Bought paid phone. Oh, no. Now you guys are reaching for the names. No, don't do that. Some creativity behind it, man. No more launch base zone jokes. <laughs> A little spiky guy. Ah. He only moves when you move. Just nonsense. A little pain in the butt. Bunch graze loan. No. What's up, Gilmar? He's trying to give me the the goofy scream. That means if I got the goofy scream as Metal Sonic, I'd be dying because I'd be falling down in a pit. You can't be doing that. Speak of the devil. Hey, Andy, what's up, man? They're trying to take your job as the uh, guy who renames all the zones. Oh, mother trucker. Hold on. Stop it. Stop it. All right, I'm trying this again. Crouch pain zone. That's not like something you do when you get old, man. Okay, here we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Was... So wait, he can't even... I guess I can only do that when you charge it up. I guess you can't really just run at full speed and get it. Ah, uh, funk maze zone. It's not me that is making words. I'm gonna let them do it. Copycats everywhere. I know. L Lance Bass Zone. What the? Crunch Shave Tone, mister. <laughs> oh, no, guys. You're killing me. Oh, I'm dead. Sorry. Come on, building. Fall apart, Knuckles. I don't know where he got that cartoon bomb from. I just realized that. Knuckles uses a cartoon bomb there. The same way that Knack the Weasel does in... Sonic Triple Trouble. Hmm. They must both shop at the same Acme factory. I had to guess. So wait, you can't... Okay, it is saying that. You can't actually type in the clip command anymore. But you can use the clip button. That's weird. Tarsisco, Tarsiso? Welcome in. Thank you for the likes. ET phone home zone. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on, Pascal. They're over here being sus. Ugh. Ah, duck, dunk phase loan. Apparently, they're saying there's a clip button you can use. I don't know. Oh, that was close. ET phone home zone. <laughs> that seems a little on nose, doesn't it? What's up, Tice? What's going on, my dude? Oh, don't fall down. Best friends, Wild E. Coyote. I guess so, man. They have to be if they're getting bombs from the Acme store. Both of them use it. 
there's a boss fight you do with uh, Knack the Weasel, and he throws those bombs at you in triple trouble. So uh, you created the monsters, all right, with their funny words and their names of the zones. Ow! Technically, that's not true, Peron, because you actually can put you can you can put Mario in this game too. I almost did. But I'm waiting for the Luigi mod for it because there's still a Luigi mod that we made for it. So it's on mobile. There is a clipboard at the top and you press it. Oh. Damn it. All right, back up and over. What's up, Benji? There you go. Oh, now you see it. That's kind of weird, though. Why would they take away the uh, the actual command for clipping? Seems kind of counterproductive. You know what? I, that's such low-hanging fruit on the blue site. I'm not even going to say anything else about low-hanging fruit on ripping on. The, I'm not even going to say it anymore. <laughs> I won't even do it. Tails, where are you, buddy? Um, There you are. There's a mod for uh, the crocodile. Oh, really? From Vector. Let go of me. Thank you. Punch. What? Punch. What? Punch Flav Bone? What does that even mean? The names have to make sense, sir. I have no idea what that means. Punch Flav Bone? Yeah, Vector. Vector the Crocodile. Haunch Crane Zone. What's a haunch? Oh, lordy. Now we're just throwing words out there. Andy, what have you done? Pascal, what have you done? It has to make sense. Oh, that was a bubble. That's fake. More rings? Oh, sweet. All right. I'll take those. Crunch gaze moan. Oh, Jesus. I'm not even going to go there. Stunt paid crone. Wait, why is it only launch base zone? You guys need to come over to like flying battery zone. Uh, different names. How about that? Trust me. Oh, boy. No, I lost my shield. I probably could have turned hyper metal, but I didn't want to do that. I don't want to cheat too much. The Fountain of Youth exists and it's called Moolah because Martha Stewart doesn't remotely look 81. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. More power to him, I guess. What's up, Ben? How much of uh, Tears of the Kingdom have you played today, sir? <laughs> but uh, welcome in, my friend. How are you? What's up, Tyler? Welcome in, man. That's what I'm saying. What have you done, sir? Punch ace foam? No! Do one for like Mushroom Hill Zone or something. Try that. Munch lane zone? What? No! Make him stop! Make him stop. What's up, Casey? That's it. I won't read them unless you send them with the 200 stars. How about that? Make the bot read them out loud. How you assumed I've stopped in the first place. <laughs> lordy, lordy. So, okay. So, <laughs> question for you, Ben. That meme I posted this morning about the, the board monster with the certain appendage attached to it. Can you actually make that in the game? I'm curious because I feel like it is that it's something you can make and that the internet just literally discovers everything. Like it's not, there's nothing is sacred anymore. Doing good today, Casey says. Nice. To answer your question, oh, you can actually do that. Okay. That, all right. That's the internet for you. 
the bot say it, I will have to go to the bathroom for laughing nonstop. Seriously, board monster with the, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So you can make that yourself in the game. Wow, what's up, DeAndre? That's how you get rid of him, yeah. In the original game, you could make Tails run off the cliff and unalive, but in this one, he stops at the edge, which is sussy, but whatever. Ah. Perfect. And make sure you guys join the other 92 amazing people. Hit the like button if you haven't yet. Uh, I would definitely appreciate it. I'm sure you're sick of that question. Wait, which question? About Tears of the Kingdom? People are beating up Hinoxes with a chicken and balls, if you get my meaning. Wow. I'm telling you guys, the internet ruins everything. Nothing is sacred anymore. Just how it is, guys. Flying buttery zone. Oh my god. I bought the new Zelda. God, god. Oh, haha. <laughs> yeah, I've had a few people ask me about it, even though I've kind of like expressed my tried to like the the Breath of the Wild and all that, but just can't do it, man. What's up, Byron? Hans, welcome into the stream, guys. Thank you for being one of the 95 awesome people that have hit the like button. Thank you so much. Edmo did finally. What's up, Brendan? Was there anything that was sacred in the first place? I mean, regular Zelda games were sacred at one point, but we didn't have the internet to destroy it like we do. I'll send you a Reddit link showing war crimes. Ah, I can't wait to see, sir. I'm going to stand right here and see if he can actually hit me. Lean Milgrom. What? No. No. Wow, Tails actually hit him. How do you do that? I actually hit him too. I'm not touching the controller, guys. I'm just, I'm just seeing if Eggman will actually hurt himself without me touching the controller. Have I enjoyed it? Uh, I haven't played it since the last two weeks that I put it in the Xbox. In fact, I haven't powered on the Xbox in over two weeks. I'm sure it needs another uh, update at this point. Yo, what's up, Phil? Welcome in, dude. For the bits and pieces that I had played, yes, I did enjoy it. Oh, he almost got hit. I don't want to run out of time either. Green pill zone. <laughs> what? There you go. I'm running over to him because I don't feel like sitting here forever. Kneel to your god. Into the middle we go. Kale's immortal. No one can be his equal. That's technically true. Everyone talks about how, like, Tails is useless, but he never seems to die. He always comes back every time, guys. Just saying. What's up, Drew? Welcome in. Killer Instinct will be coming soon since it's been two weeks since you're, you touched your Xbox. I post Killer Instinct stuff every day, man. Every day. Off to the Mushroom Hill Zone. Tails' is tails are... Kind of skinny there. I think it's because they, they redrew them in uh, Sonic Mania. Makes more sense that way. Oh, stream-wise, yeah. Chemical implants? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just going to leave this right here. No one will ever find it. Dale's got kids in the future. They will have the same curse as him. Probably, yeah. Who says it's a curse, though? I got killed 15 times by the spawn of Og, Ogdobago. Ogdo, is that the name of it? Is that the 
that one boss that's really ridiculously difficult to beat on the hardest difficulty. The one guy was playing for like, I don't know, 28 hours or something, and he finally beat him. That's crazy. He's doing much better today. Thank you for asking, sir. Why, you want fat tails? Well, I mean, it just doesn't look right. His tails are too skinny. Mushroom Hill Zone. What about Potato Flat Land Area? All right, I'll let that one slide, sir. Go. All right, now we got to find the next two rings here. Huh? Oh, that was lucky. I don't know how I did that. I'll let that one slide, Reuben. There's a glitch to beat his spawn in Jedi Survivor. Oh, of course there's a glitch. EA game. I don't even know why I was surprised about that. I love how EA never puts their games on sale, but they want people to jump in on that, uh, that EA service that they have for their games. What is it like? I don't know five bucks a month which is not really a bad deal because there are some pretty good games on that service but they do it so that their games are never on sale and they're basically trying to force you into the uh the subscription service that's terrible so is tails being useless no nah, he's doing pretty good man mostly it's always what's up jake what's going on dude Go back this way. There you go. Well, Nintendo games never go on sale, dude. They never will. It's because they're Nintendo games. The public has shown that Nintendo can get away with pricing out $70 Zelda games. You guys have to remember, too, Nintendo plans stuff out like any big company. They plan stuff out like, I don't know, five, six years in advance. What's up, Brian? Crisis Remaster Trilogy was on sale when I got it. So you got lucky then. Sophie, welcome in. But if you go on the Steam store, that's what I'm talking about. Go on the Steam store and look up um, any of the EA games on there. They're never on sale. They're always full price. But they'll talk about how the game is available on their EA Game Pass thing or whatever on Steam. It's five bucks a month to have it. We have peppers, onions, pepperonis, and anchovies. We called Pizza Hill Zone. Hey, I'm okay with that. Totally down for that. Gonna vanish. Uh, net sucks and Zelda calls. Yeah, I saw you have an internet problem, sir. Good luck to you. Have fun with Zelda. Crap, Brian Zone, crap, brains. <laughs> EA Games Challenge everything. What's going on, buddy? How are you, man? Nestor, welcome to the stream. Don't touch the bubble shield. There you go. What's up, Patrick? Welcome to the stream. What game do you want to be remade? You know, I don't know. There's different reasons why you'd want a game to be remade. Maybe the first one wasn't that great. Uh, maybe that they're just trying to milk the crap out of the game title itself. Look at Capcom with Resident Evil. You'd like to think that they're remaking the game so they can rewrite the story and make it more cohesive than what it was the first time around. But then the other side of me comes out and says, oh, they're doing that because they want to make a lot of money. Which makes sense. Resident Evil 4 is like one of the highest selling Resident Evil games ever created. So we got four remake. But maybe in a non-nefarious way they're doing it because they really want to rewrite the story. What's up, Daniel? Make it so that everything kind of fits better, you know? Even though on, like, a really deep surface, uh, Resident Evil game stories never made. It never made sense, ever, so. I would love for them to remake it. I wouldn't say, like, remake it to change anything on the game itself, but more to make it look modern. It doesn't really have to be, though. Because Link to the Past is a, the best Zelda game ever, so, you know. Deportes EA está en la basura. 
EA's not that bad, sir. You played a lot of EA games in the, back in the day. Come on. Yeah, maybe just a remaster, but not so much a remake. Um, I don't know. Give us a... Uh, make it look like um, Link's Awakening. Okay with that. MGS3, would it be a PS5 exclusive? How confirmed is that, though? Is that like 100%? Sure they'll remake it like Link's Awakening. I would love for them to do it like that. I'm totally down for that. I used to play it a lot too, Andy. I played a lot of Madden games back in the day. But uh, just one of those where my, my gaming preferences changed up a lot as I got older and I was like, I don't really care. I don't really care for sports games in general anymore. Like I like I used to. I used to look forward to sports games back in the day. Um, I don't know. I just don't really care for them anymore direct copy paste of last year's model that we will sell you at full price again because you think it's new the thing is like you have to be able to uh you can't convince sports fans that it's the same game from last year a lot of them don't want to say things like that because they're spending their money on the game itself that's why 2001 was my least favorite madden hasn't been good in a decade yeah but there are people who still buy Madden games, guys. I mean, yeah, their sales have declined a lot. Um, but they still have a very dedicated fan base. Madden is maddening. <laughs> I would imagine it is. Plus Bell, welcome in. Um, they still make money. That's why they're still making them. Maybe also the fact that um, John Madden games are... Well, okay. EA has a monopoly on the football games including college apparently so i think they're doing college games again right you played the def jam games flying battery zone what about landing guitar zone wait what why is it to be a guitar what's up joe roster mod sir roster mod see there you go i think if they came out with a see here's the thing a game like madden they can't just come out with it every couple years because there's new players on different teams every single year. So they have to do a new game every year. So with Call of Duty, it was a much easier transition from making games every year. I mean, they were doing Assassin's Creed games every year for a while too. You guys remember that? Our man has made a return. Some good ones just uh, get forgotten about. That's true too. Get up there, you big goof. Don't mess up what I do here every time. Back and forth. Get all the rings. Yeah, there you go. What's up, Gert? Welcome in. Go! Because they have a Monopoly in NFL, games with Madden. Ooh. Just like uh, 2K had has a Monopoly on NBA games, NBA 2K. Ah. So what if there was a scenario? Do you think the brush, the, the brush, the breath of fresh air that let's say football and basketball need is that let's say 2K starts making football games again and EA makes basketball games? Do you think that would help the franchises as a whole? I don't know. 2K. I used to buy their uh, baseball games back in the day. From a Sega Dreamcast. The thing is, what company do you think would be able to pick up the rights to the football, to, to just football in general and do good by it, you know? That's right. Yeah, 2K did have football games. Yep. That was back when they were owned by Sega, though, wasn't it? Because those 2K games used to only be on uh, the Dreamcast. And of course, you know, Sega went under as far as hardware, hardware sales. And they put them on GameCube and I, I think Xbox and PlayStation, right? There's nothing wrong with the Dreamcast, sir. Yeah, but see, you guys liked all those Harry Potter games on uh, that EA made. saying 
I can say for sure though, EA doesn't have as much pull in the gaming industry as they used to. They make some really strange business decisions overall. Um, that's why people don't respect them anymore, you know? So, what's up, Jason? 2K5 was a win. It's like, they get a really good team of people together to make a game for them. And then within like two years, they shut them down. And people think, oh, it's because they make good games. It's like, no, because it costs them too much money to keep paying these people to make good games. Why make a good game when you can make a, a half-baked game and just release fix-it patches later on down the road and people still buy it because they're used to the franchise itself? Look at Battlefield. Other than football, Battlefield is one of the... Battlefield in general is one of the most inconsistent quality, awesome game series I've ever played. Think about that. If you're a Battlefield fan, so you've been playing for a long time, there are some really, really good Battlefield games, and there are some that are just like, what the fudge is this nonsense, you know? Look at 2042. Money hungry. Yeah, basically, yeah. EA is. They're just money hungry, dude. No competition. It would be like McDonald's is the only option for hamburgers. That's true. They could keep releasing the same product every day and everybody would buy it because it's the only thing that's out there. But they have to, like, places like McDonald's, they have to innovate out with different things because there is competition. What's up, Tyler? See, I didn't care for BF5, although I haven't played it in a long time. Um, but I loved Battlefield 1. I mean, I'm also one of those weirdos I like Battlefield Hardline also. So, I used to sit in front of my Xbox for hours playing Battlefield Hardline and my PlayStation. And the same thing for BF1. It's played all the time. So, what's up, Diane? Welcome in. Demolition Man and Taco Bell in that movie. <laughs> but, McDonald's needs to innovate that damn ice cream machine. <laughs> no, they need to repair it. Dude, don't break the enemies out. Come on, Tails. Does it every time. Every time, no matter what. You've only played BF1? BF1 is good, man. I think people still play that game. So. Yeah, that was close. Come on. Come on. Jeez. The platform took forever to come back. Jeez. Louise. Faster, faster, faster. Yeah. Hello, queen. Thanks for joining in the stream. My queen just got home a little bit ago. She's chilling. I got to get with Jay, guys. I need to see my my list of things that I put up for star bombs and spicy bean challenges and stuff like that. Yeah, you should put up earlier. It's in the Discord, but I got an actual graphic that I had I wanted Jay to put together. I know he's been busy, so. I love the floaty ability. Perfect for Metal Sonic. Awesome victory. There it is. I'm not into shooters, but BF1 and Call of Duty World War II uh, were my favorites. I think, honestly, I think Call of Duty has been more consistent with quality than Battlefield has. Even though there is a couple of stinkers in there, you know, like Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, but I think Call of Duty Ghost was just because it was fundamentally broken. Um, I've never played it, but from what I understand, uh, Battlefield 2042 is also very fundamentally broken. I don't know how bad it is compared to when it first came out, though. So, maybe one day if I can find it on sale for like $6, I'll buy it. 
and try it out. The game was so hyped up during those gaming conventions and whatever in the months leading up to when it was released. And it was just one of those. It was it, it didn't even really shock people that the game turned out so broken and buggy and so bare bones and people paid full price for that game. They paid $60 to get the game on release day. I almost pre-ordered it. Almost. You don't like see I didn't like ghosts either. I thought ghost was terrible. Thank you, Casey, for the likes. Of course, Reuven liked ghosts. Of course you did. Fallout 76 was beyond broken. See, I never played it. I only know of what everybody reviewed it like, and um, they thought it was a big pile of cockadookie as well. What? I'm just saying, dude. You seem to like all that stuff that kind of goes against the grain. You like to go against the grain. If something is universally not liked or hated or panned for just being subpar, Ruben's like, I liked it. You like Daredevil film? That's universally hated. You like Call of Duty Ghosts? That's universally hated. Um, I'm sure there is certain foods that are just like, bleh, and everyone hates it. And you're like, I like those too. So I'm just saying. Uh, Mallory, you are oh, welcome to the stream. The pie to the face. I can only hope. I played Ghosts, Call of Duty Ghosts, on I think it was it was a multi generational console release, like PS3 and PS4. I couldn't believe that the game literally played no different on both consoles at the time. Looking forward to playing any Amy and Origins Plus? Absolutely. I think it's going to be a really cool challenge. Oh, that's right. He doesn't like cantaloupe. Even though, I don't know if that's something that everyone likes. That's my thing, so. My eye is slowly healing. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Do, 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 do. I think she will. Um, I think that's what they're going for, is that Amy will have her hammer. Which is pretty cool. I mean, it's her signature weapon, so... When does Origins Plus come out? Uh, can you download it? Yes, you can. Just use it to upgrade your original game. June 23rd. I get screamed at because I'm not a fan of Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it either, dude. I don't... I'm not a big fan of those crazy here's a bunch of shit to do type of games. I just I don't know, man. I feel like that's what Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild both do to you. It's busy work, Zelda game. I mean, yeah, I mean, there are missions and things to do, but it's essentially a busy simulator. I said it. There, I said it. I got given Fallout 76 and thought, oh no, why? What's up here, Luke? So I was curious about how bad it was. And I was pleasantly, oh sh. Uh, I can't get up there. Damn it. Can't get up there. Son of a biscuit. Um, I'm surprised to see so much more than what they did. Cantaloupe for everybody. <laughs> So Amy's going to be in uh, Sonic Origins Plus. She'll actually be added as a playable character. So Cantaloupe has a mild, non-offensive taste. That's what's, what's that's weird not to like it. That's true. Yeah, I like cantaloupe. I like cantaloupe and melon. So since the many, many patches, Fallout 76 runs pretty good. Junior loves that game. See, I've never really been a Fallout guy, so I have no say in the matter whatsoever. I only go about, I only go on about how, like, it seems to be one of those games that they just capitalize on the name and people just hated it, I guess. I don't know. I think maybe it was people who didn't like it because it wasn't Fallout 4. 
so. Who's Amy? Uh, Amy Rose, the hedgehog. My Miu Mini Plus yesterday, pretty little handheld. Oh, okay, okay. I can tolerate the bad tracks for that. <laughs> See, everyone liked Fallout 3 and 4, and then 76 came along and said, hold my beer of how to destroy a franchise. <laughs> what about uh, Elder Scrolls? Many of you didn't become a fan of Elder Scrolls until part four was Oblivion or whatever. No one really cared for the other ones before that. Ah. Queen says 57,220 stars to hit 50%. You guys, that would put us on track to hit the goal this month if we were able to hit 50% of the goal today. That would be amazing. Unless all of a sudden, like in the last week and a half of the month, we just get nuked. And then the queen has to go out and buy all the supplies needed to throw a pie in my face in front of God knows how many viewers. So I'm deathly afraid and anticipating it to happen. So I don't know. It's such a scary thing overall. <laughs> That's basically what it's going to look like with my eyes sticking out. Ah! Ah, oh, you son of a scorpion. Uh, nope, that's not the one I want. That one doesn't give you shield. That one just takes all your rings away. Or does it? All right, let's go gamble. Hold on, guys. Does it, does it actually work like it does in the other one, though? I guess we're going to find out. You know, Elder Scrolls all that much? I never really was either. Um, I'm trying to see if it actually does work if I hit the button repeatedly. Quantile Gaming. What's up, man? Welcome in. Come on. Damn it. 15 days left. It's not working. I'm going to get Jack. Ah! Oh my God. Damn! What's up, Josh? Welcome in. I went in thinking I was going to maybe get a jackpot and Eggman's put his spikes in my bum. Fallout is better than Elder Scrolls. Mass Effect is better than Dragon Age. I just, I shouldn't have gone in there. I went against my better judgment thinking it was like Casino Night Zone and it's definitely not. Not even close. At all. Ever. I feel that pain, Metal Sonic. Fallout is meh. Never played it. Not my cup of tea, man. Come on. That should be remade. That's actually a pretty fun game. Oh, good job, Adam. You literally just... You almost died right there. What's up, Will? You're meh, Mackie. <laughs> this is the most trouble I've ever had with this boss right here. I cannot believe I just did that because I jumped over him. He almost unalived me too. Wow. I like Dragon Age. I never played him. I never played the Dragon Age games. Never played Fallout. Never played Skyrim. Never played Oblivion. Never played Elder Scrolls in general. Um... I remember when people would pre-order those types of games. So, you know, I'm more into science fiction than I am into fantasy. See, yeah, that's another reason why people like Fallout better. Wow, that's cool. Thanks for hitting my bum. I knew there was a reason why I didn't like this zone. I was starting to like Sandopolis, and then that happened. It's not my favorite yet, but it is in my top five. Now, maybe because I started on Breath of the Wild, but that is still my favorite as well as Link to the Past. Link to the Past will always be my favorite. Always. 
it's not the best Zelda game because that's really subjective. Um, people could say Majora's Mask is the best Zelda game, but again, that's all opinion based, very subjective. So, so I haven't played Sega. Wait, you haven't played Sega? Are you going to see the movie? I don't know. Sure, honestly, we might go see it. What am I playing tonight? <laughs> that I don't know yet. I don't know. No idea. I don't know. Oh, sh I didn't mean to do that. Son of a mother trucker. Skyrim sounds like something that happens when joining the Mile High Club. <laughs> it just might be, sir. Yeah, I kind of went into today, like, without much of a plan. I'm like, okay, Sonic. I'll figure something out throughout the day. But no, I was doing, like, just page stuff and other things and kind of got sidetracked with it, you know? So. They had Brave Venture on the PS2. Brave Venture, huh? That, is that what the game was called? I forgot they did actually have that Brave Venture game on PS2. We oh, haven't, haven't played a Sonic game since the Sega days. Wow. That was like a million years ago. What's up, Cesar? The Zelda trilogy on the Philips CDI is the best. Eh. That's page stuff too. Well, yeah, but I was also doing like personal things too. So I did page stuff. It took me about literally like two hours to get it all done today. So, and then I got to do it again tomorrow. Most of my day consists of, to be honest. So you wrote it. I didn't write Brave Venture. <laughs> Uh, Faison's asking, is this a modded version? It's Sonic 3 Angel Island Revisited. I have Sonic games on PS4. I have, uh... I have Sonic Mania, the collector's edition for PS4. The, the big box, and it's got the Genesis and everything in there. And it has, a like, a Sonic ring inside there, and there's a cartridge. It's pretty cool. That was before Sega, I guess, was thinking about putting a physical version of Sonic Mania out on consoles. Um, and then they decided to do that with Sonic Mania Plus. Which I really should have known from the beginning they were going to do that with Sonic Origins, but I really wanted to play the game. So, like, I didn't... I don't know. I was hoping they would do that for Sonic, or, or Sonic Origins regular and you could upgrade it. But they decided to hold back and just do digital only at first, and then you could get the, um, the Sonic Origins Plus later on. You just upgrade it, and then they're doing they're doing a physical version of it. So, which I'd like to get for my Switch, and then upgrade my current PC version of it. So, this modding community is amazing. Of this metal, of this Sonic right here. This is uh, Sonic 3 Angel Island Revisited. What's up, Brian? And I'm using the Ultimate Metal Sonic mod for it. What's up, Kells? Welcome in. Bing, bing. Ooh, that was close. Almost died right there. Sonic Collection of Streets of Rage, mostly Sega games. Yeah, that's um, Sonic Mega Collection, actually. Mega Collection Plus, I think? If you buy the Japanese version of Sonic Mega Collection Plus on the GameCube, I think, maybe even the PS2. In Japan, it's available on the PS2 also. You actually get uh, the, you get Bare Knuckle 1, 2, and 3 on there as well. So it's pretty cool. Sega's done it before. They just don't do it here for some reason. I don't get it. Why is from your way? Ding, 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 ding. Best collection of Sonic, Sonic Jam, the glorious Saturn. <laughs> it's actually not a bad collection. It's just very bare bones. I mean, at least it was some Sonic representation on the Sega Saturn, other than 3D Blast and uh, what's the other one? Uh, Sonic R. Oy. Get him. Is it weird playing Sega games with a PS4 controller? No, it's pretty comfortable. I don't mind it. All eyes on you. Street Fighter 6 open beta? Is it open beta? Nuh-uh. Rizzles? There's nothing wrong with the Saturn, Mackie. 
Jesus Christmas. Well, in America, there is. Everything's wrong with the Sega Saturn. But in Japan, it's not that bad, sir. Because Japan gets all the cool stuff. They always do. Oh, Chris, what's up, my dude? Thank you for the 11 stars, man. Let's go. We're going to trigger a stars party. Hook us up. Ah, shit. I burned my metal butt. And, uh... do the hot sauce chug for a stars party let's go it's actually really good hot sauce it's just painful to eat it all the time i don't mind it to be honest um i like the d-pad on this controller and for me playing a sonic game really has to have a good d-pad so it even feels fine playing with a super nintendo controller mania remix of lava reef was so great oh jesus i'm ready to might not be able to jump over this. There we go. Open beta starting May 19th. Okay. It means they have some other plans for the game and they want to make sure that everything's good, I guess. Did, was there a Street Fighter V beta? I don't remember if there was or not. Hmm. I wonder. I honestly don't remember. D-pad. Yes, directional pad. Back. Hearing some thunder, but no rain and power flickered hard enough to reboot the entire house. Holy crap. That happened um, yesterday. Like the whole breaker trip just in here, though, in this room. Maybe because I have too much crap plugged in. <laughs> My battery box held everything on, like the internet and everything. But I had to go in the garage and reset the breaker. So. Oh, God. Boom, 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 boom. Eggplant pad. Oh, that's what you guys are talking about. You have a bunch of weirdos. 85 here. Feels like 90. Uh, it's 87 here, and it probably feels like 90. <laughs> that sounds about right, man. It's a hot one. What's up, Tommy? Welcome in, dude. May 19th. I'm assuming is it only on PlayStation or they do it on PC also? Because I kind of want to play it, but I want to play it on PC though. Because I have fight pads for my PC. Just saying. Samesies in Seattle's. I'm good. I'm at work. Here's the hot one. D-pad cannon! <laughs> good, Tails. You stop messing around with those platforms. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nah, just leave it there. It's fine. <laughs> Advertised for all systems, and that was crossplay. Oh. Okay, so sweet. I definitely want to pick it up for my PS, for my PC then. Spartans, what is your profession? Um, professional gamer. <laughs> Marshy, thank you for the 300 stars. A new top star has entered the ring. Oh, Jesus, be careful. Oh, MG, look at those stars, it little Fozzy. <laughs> I made that rhyme completely just, just because. Oh God, don't fall in the lava. Waka waka. You and I have this exact same temperature. Real? I, I told you. Waka waka, mother. Easy. Oh my god, literally almost lost my rings right there because I'm living life dangerously right now. Oh, just like that. Son of a monkey's uncle. Come on. Well, I guess I'm doing this the hard way.
freaking A! Ding, 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 ding. Pretty sure I can't do the same trick as I did in the other game. There we go. Dangerous. I know. Seriously. Seriously. What's up, Kevin? What's up, Peter? 85, too. It was 90, but it was rain. So yeah, we didn't get any rain today. Ah! Gotta do this the hard way. Myself, and on behalf of Leone, she says hi. Well, welcome in. Hello, hello. All right, we, we beat the hand. We beat thing. Metal thing? Good job, Metal Sonic. He's just... Oh, Metal Sonic. They should have put the metal above Sonic. I'm not sure why they didn't do that. All right. Oh, please don't get hit by anything. Okay. I'm not immune to fire, unfortunately, even though I should be because I'm a freaking metal hedgehog. I can harness the power of Chaos Emeralds and turn into a super being, but yet fire still hurts me. This doesn't make any damn sense. That machine was trying to give me a hand job. Oh, maybe. They're crushing me to death? Yeah, that's it. Uh, top three remixes in Mania for me, Starlight Speedway, Act 2, and the boss music, Lava Reef, and Metallic Madness. I only like one of those zones. And that's Lava Reef. Well, maybe just Act 1. Oh, shiz. I think I was going to clip the ceiling like that. Not Street Fighter, no Street Fighter 6 open beta on PS4, only next gen and Steam, and you must register a Capcom ID and a platform ahead of time, and it's only the content they had in the closed beta. Okay. So I have um the Capcom ID. So uh should be able to play then, no problem. Which is perfect, because I want to play it on PC anyway, so. Boy fixed. Are all the characters selectable, the ones that are going to be in the main game, or just a few of them? I want to see how that uh, that open world deal works. I mean, it's kind of weird that a game that was universally panned in the United States, because it was never released outside of America, was Final Fight Streetwise. Perfect! Is literally, like... It's, it's being used as, like, the open world engine in Street Fighter VI. It just blows my mind. Uh, Capcom is so weird sometimes. I don't get it. Capcom gives out IDs. Yeah. Yes, they do. It's perfect. I was mad because I didn't get chosen for the closed beta. I really wanted to play it. But no. Whoa, easy. Ugh. They said, no, you're not good enough. So we're just going to leave you high and dry. Still think 18 characters, Street Fighter 6 is a bit stingy. Didn't they have 70 or more? Oh, dude, trust me. You're going to get all those characters if you buy all of the battle passes. You have to understand that gone are the days of us getting video games at retail price and getting everything with them all at once. You could look at it as like... They're not giving us the entire game all at once because they still have a lot of work to do to work out bugs and stuff and balancing. I mean, they still do balance patches every... Well, I don't know if they do them anymore for Smash, but they were up until, what, last year? Which just sucks. I mean... Gone are the days of us ever getting a full game at retail with without having to pay for DLC, especially Street Fighter. Look at Tekken. Tekken 8 is going to cost like over $200 per person to get all the content with it. That's how much seven's still going for. They gonna make you pay for it. Thank you, Andy, for the stars update. Unlock them for free, like in five, but you probably... Oh, yeah, dude. You're gonna be spending a lot of time in front of that game trying to unlock everybody. The thing is, the majority of people who still play Street Fighter, like me, I don't have time to sit in front of my game shit all day unlocking characters. Just whip out the old Visa and just type in the numbers. So. Ethical, probably not. 
Hold on. Is it ethical? Probably not. Is it a smart business model? Maximize profit? Very. Exactly. They're a business. They got to make money. That's just how it is, guys. Namco does it a lot. Namco does it with every fighting game they have, especially Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball and Tekken. Capcom is no stranger to that stuff, you know? God, I can step in lava. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Tekken 8, though, will get 30 characters from what I feel. They already shown 10. Yeah, but total, how many characters will they have, though, in the entire game? How many did we get total in Tekken 7? Wasn't there like 40 characters in Tekken 7 or something like that? And even that game still runs like 180 bucks if you don't get it on sale. Good job, Tails. You managed to stay alive and keep getting hit by lava. <laughs> Oh, it is 56909. Gromboli is cooking. I smell something cooking in a toaster oven. Hold on, we gotta we gotta jet our way out of here. Tekken is mint anyway. I like Tekken. I like Tekken 7. It's just I'm not good at it, but I do have fun with the game. Tekken is not noob friendly. Noctis would have been a better... Oh, absolutely, dude. I don't know why he was in Tekken. I, I don't get it. What's up, John? Yeah, Noctis should have not been in Tekken 7. He should have definitely been in Soul Cal. But we got Geralt. Like, it's just weird. I don't even think he fits in Soul Calibur. I don't know. Get a couple rings here. That's all I need. Screaming Sicilian Strombolies. What's a Stromboli? I'm sure they're delicious. He can block a metal hedgehog from hitting him. Come on, Nux. You knucklehead. I'm red too, but I'm better at it. You're good, but I'm better. That'd be so cool if that painting was in Sonic 3 in the movie. Tekken is more accessible than Street Fighter learning-wise. Do you think so? I don't know, man. I don't, I've never, I mean, part of it's because I'm not really that great at Tekken, but I don't know. I've just always found Street Fighter easier than Tekken. I don't know. I think Tekken is a way more technical fighter than Street Fighter is. Street Fighter is, you can mash buttons in Street Fighter and still win. I mean, okay, so Tekken 7 allows you to do that thing. I think where you hold the L1 button and press any of the face buttons and you'll just do a special move. But just because you can do special moves in that, with that doesn't mean that you'll actually win every fight either. You can do that in Tekken without that. What? Uh, pressing like L1 and pressing the face buttons? <laughs> What's up, Kirk? Welcome in. Get up there. Come on, nah. Please don't die in the spikes. I know, guys. I'm just messing with you. I know what a str <laughs> I know what a stromboli is. And I know it's pronounced stromboli. Just messing with you guys. 
You can button mash more. You son of a freaking Eggman robot. Mother trucker. Turn on button mashing settings so that it recognizes it. Wow. Wow. These Eggman robots are a piece of garbage. I had a feeling he would do that to me. It's that one and the and this one that does that to me sometimes. He didn't just take away all my rings. He knocked me all the way down the freaking platform. That was sus. Two weeks time. I'm getting rid of the retro games because it's time for a change. Oh, strong bullies are really good. I feel you, man. That's why I sold my PS2 collection. They were gathering dust more than anything. Some of those games I bought along the years and I never once put them in a gaming console. The fighter that was a complex was Virtua Fighter. Virtua Fighter 5 is really good. What is it? Ultimate Showdown, I think. That was a steal to get that for free um, from, from Sega on the PS4. I like a VF5. Yeah, Strombolis are good, guys. They're really good. <laughs> Mr. Blast, how do you trigger your chat? Say Stromboli incorrectly. What the fudge, man? How does he hit me? I do that same jump that I do all the time as Sonic, and it still hit me. These egg fart robots are pissing me off. Come on. very wrong and unethical that game was fun yeah of course i've got 45 rings i'm five rings shy of um you know hypersonic that's okay though me to jj here isn't that a uh, 51 stars, I think? Oh, good job, Tails. They actually hit him. It's Metal Sonic versus Mecha Sonic. I was hoping he would get hit. Because I like to use the invincibility frames for Tails to hit him. Oh, come on. Come on, Tails. Do something. Django, what's up, man? That would imply that Eggman is just as large of a frame as Mecha Sonic. It's impossible. John with two hundo, let's go! Ultra two hundo. Cloud with lightning ball with spoon eye. <laughs> what? Jesus! Jesus! What's up, Jake? Thank you for the star love. Oh shit! Shiza. Get up there. Buy them for sale on sale and save them for when I don't feel like making. Yeah, there you go. See? They're very filling, too, for what they are. <laughs> Star's party has been triggered, Marshy. You and John. Thank you for the star love. Will Mr. Blast have to drink hot sauce? Or will he stare at the bottle, not drink it, and not have to burn his mouth and his bunghole? Do -do -do. <laughs> Come on, guys. Give me some credit here. I just came up with all that on the fly. Reprogram the one pew pew puming laser. Seriously. Woo. I had to, that was on the fly. Come on, now. Hit the stars party. <laughs> Show some love to your boy for coming up with those lyrics. 
as we go. Let's go. What the what? That's... What can I say? I'm supposed to say Storm at Bowl Eye. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab dinner. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What's up, Tim? I can finally see the stars party on my screen. Finally! Jesus! <laughs> I only ever see him on desktop. I never see him on my phone. I don't know why. Actually, I take that back. There was a while where I was seeing him on both, and then it took away one and out the other, and then vice versa. Today, I saw one on on my on desktop. Get in the chat with great lyrics. Check. Woo. My favorite version of this now on Origins. Yikes. You know, that's the only achievements I'm missing on this version on Steam is the ones from Sonic 3. Let's get that party. Stars party. Dun, dun. I refuse to play Sonic 3 and Knuckles anymore on Origins. And the worst part is that I actually did finish the game. Um, but for some reason, it's not showing the progress that I actually beat the game with Sonic 3 and Knuckles on this. Hot sauce chugging. Only makes it tastier. Did it really just say smirk, smirk, smirk? <laughs> what the? Smirk, smirk, smirk. Uh... <laughs> I just moved my speaker. I gotta shake this up now. Shake this up in a way that doesn't look weird when, you know, when I... <laughs> I actually have a new type of candy showing up that's apparently stronger than super or uh, than um, nuclear fusion. So needs his ass whipped for running behind Sonic. Spirally could have just that's true. You know what, Joel? You are absolutely correct. He could have just flew us up there. If you stick hot sauce in your bum. Well, well, we're finally drinking. <laughs> Here we go. This bottle hates me. You know, I should put this in the fridge. I'll leave it on my desk all the time. The one you told me about? For real? Here we go. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not that one. And uh -uh. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, if you leave it behind your tongue, you burn like a motherfucker. Oh! <laughs> oh! Shake it up. Woo woo, shake it up. Jeez. Oh, that was such a bad idea! Thank you, John, for the stars. Oh, look what I did. Oh, I'm not paying attention. That was such a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. Why did I do something so stupid? Ooh. And it literally got to the back of my throat. And it shouldn't have been there. Oh, okay, hot sauce fucking win. Oh. I shouldn't have done that. That was a stupid idea. Oh. Okay, all right. Hold on, guys. Uh, oh, Jesus, Christmas. That was so dumb of me to do. Never ever put hot sauce directly on your tongue. That is a bad, bad, bad idea. Just drink it. Oh. I, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> Damn it, James, out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, that was a really bad idea. Hot sauce does not belong on the tip of your tongue. It belongs on your food and not directly in your mouth, which also sounds really weird saying it out of context. Uh, I think that's going to be the new challenge. The jelly beans go directly on the tongue and just sit there. 
and they burn. We're on the same stage and I'm way ahead of you. Damn, why are you coming here and talking smack to me? <laughs> oh God, it's making me burp. Hot sauce burn. Yo, Habanero just hates me. Oh, Jesus, man. Ugh. It's not meant to burn the tongue like that, but it just does. Holy shit, man. You challenging me? Okay. You got you got Sonic, though. I get to be Metal Sonic, sir. If you think it hates you now, wait until later. Oh, probably. It has a nice mango undertone, at least, to it. It doesn't make up for the fact that the habanero just literally just overtakes everything. Ugh. Ah, Jesus, man. Oh. This is my least favorite boss in the whole game right here. My least favorite boss. There's something about this boss that I don't like. Eh. What's up, Philip? Welcome in. Still burning my mouth. It's a natural defense. So you stop eating it. <laughs> Sir, never, never, ever. Never stop eating it. I don't know, man. I do it for the entertainment, for the lulls, for the yellow hearts for Jay. He's making a really nifty thing for me to put on the stream so that it will always constantly remind me of the mistakes I make when you guys send star bombs on the stream and complete stars parties. Ugh. It makes me drool, too. Ugh. Mistakes were made. High to the face. I'm seriously like, I don't even know what to do with myself on that. Oh, man. Ah, oh, you fudging spiky guy. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It still burns. It lingers. It lingers. <laughs> Ah, Edam, Iru, Sekatsum. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Forwards and backwards. Holy God. And then I wonder why I have such terrible sinuses. Hi, Kirsty. I really should put the hot sauce in the fridge. Oh, God. Need all the rings I can get. I just messed up my hair, too. Don't mess up your hair, you big goof. Ugh. Jesus. I gotta play it off like it's not burning no more, even though it still is. What's up, girlfriend? Oh, Jesus. All right, Metal Sonic. Don't screw this up. You are the metal. You could if you if you could return don't let it burn i can't read the rest of it hold on hold on Ugh. i'm not getting any rings out of this this is some nonsense there's a big oh. try not to drop f-bombs here <laughs> i'm trying to hold it back i forgot this isn't a sub stream oh i don't want an extra life that's useless damn it Oomph from worky. These hot days are starting to suck now. I know. That's... Do you have to let it linger? Oh, uh, do you have to? Do you have to let it linger? <laughs> oh, touche, sir. Touche. It's for you. That's all the jobs I've been finding, Kirsty, is like literally work outside. Have a heat stroke. <laughs> It's it's hot. It is so hot. It's unbelievable. So I'm like, I just want to create content. I want to let my creative brain flow with the juices. Even if I have to drink an entire bottle of hot sauce. <laughs> I can't do that outside shit anymore. Oh, here we go. 
work from home gig i would love to do that jay absolutely i would absolutely love to do that um there's really not a whole lot around here that isn't scammy or you know give us your credit card and we'll send you the info <laughs> he's singing the damn song too <laughs> uh. Boom, 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 boom. Put some hot sauce on your burrito, baby. That stuff really is good on everything, though, like mac and cheese or hot dogs or hamburgers, tacos, whatever. Good stuff. I don't recommend just drinking it from the bottle, though. I'm sure there will be long term repercussions for that. I want to redesign your resume. Oh, for Sherzy's? Uh, I think I still have it on my computer, Jay. I can send it over to you. Redesign. Those are the only jobs nowadays that have a day schedule. Yeah. Work out in the blistering sun. You're off when it goes down. Yeah, basically. I did it once and I'm never doing it again. Nope. When you have a near death experience, walking across someone's 10,000 square foot or whatever, 20,000 square foot lawn, not including their house. Yeah, no, I'm good. I can't do it. So it is really good on pizza too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, Mackie's. I'm not hating on his boy. No, we were not. I wasn't. I like Tails. I always defend Tails. If it wasn't for him, Sonic would have never have learned the freaking spin dash. Just saying. Playing X Dive and reach the sky level from Storm Eagle. The music is the same as the PSP version. Oh, really? I did landscape for six months. Worked like a... Yeah, exactly. Seriously, dude. It's awful. The crazy thing is, is that it pays really well for the most part. Yeah, you're going to get that pasty farm farmer's tan. <laughs> if you're anything like her, you'll just burn. You'll burn worse than Cinder from uh, Killer Instinct. <laughs> no, not down with Tails. He's smarter than Eggman. How come y'all never rip on Eggman? His inventions never work. The boss in the Storm Owl stage next dive is Chill Penguin. Wait, what? Really? It's weird. Just do the spin dash. There you go. Oh, good job, Tails. You did it. You actually broke a finger. We got what the next boss and then we got the doomsday zone yeah I actually fix it now the sonic hero song will play over in the doomsday zone i fixed it finally forgot i had to bring it up higher on the priority list for mods if you don't see other folks in mass numbers doing that dot yet oh god excuse me that hot sauce makes me burp so bad it's gross too many eggs he's going to have a short life anyway but you can't rip on tails though he's a he's a literal child genius just saying wow he actually hit him i was not expecting that yeah there it is that's the challenge list guys if you guys click on see more that's what we're going for. The one that scares me is that really big one, the Carolina Reaper plus the hot sauce at the same time. Eggman needs to stop skipping those leg days. I know, but he still manages to outrun Sonic every time. It's unbelievable. See, he was very useful there. Run! I am the hype! Yeah, I told you I fixed it. See more butts. <laughs> Uh, room bay cone. <laughs> yes, the room bay cone. Does anyone here see more butts? Does ever see more butts here? Ironically enough, I'm playing as Metal Sonic with this song playing. And I'm the good guy.
Made. May have made look like Eggman running out like a cartoon. Oh, that's probably why they did that. Yeah. Oh, Yuji Naka. Looking for Miso Problem. First name B. <laughs> want to see more butts <laughs> uh, the golden years of the Simpsons yeah d-pad makes a world difference oh absolutely dude ps4 controller has a good d-pad on it it ain't great for fighting games but I do like this butt controller for this game ah missiles what's up max welcome in the inertia he generates from being so top heavy. Ah, he can't help it. Ugh. As long as I don't die here, guys, we'll have another successful no death run of Sonic 3. Yay. Guys, do I have a B.O. problem here? <laughs> They're a B.O. problem. <laughs> uh oh. Jumps to the bosses. If you finish the scenario in X-Dive, aren't the one you think. First boss to finish a stage or finish the scenario on the highway stage is Moa the Giant X3. Oh, wait, Moa. Oh, is that the... That's the big giant guy with the spiky hands, right? I think. Is there a Mike Roch here? <laughs> you guys, I'm looking for Mike Roch. <laughs> Uh, good job, Metal Sonic. Reprogrammed by Tails. Okay, it is the intro boss. Okay, from X3. Gotcha. Uh, boom. Oh, now I can finally get that burning pepper out of my throat. Because not only did it rest on my tongue, it actually, the, the hot sauce went down my throat and I wasn't ready for it. That's what she said. Uh, I'm never going to learn to watch my words and my phrasing. I should really give it a try. It's constantly being shown to me on Steam, Pascal. Maybe I should give it a try. Does it have a tag on Facebook? More Sonic, please and thanks. K, thanks, bye. <laughs> I know, guys, my phrasing. I know, I know, I know. The phrasing, I know. My tongue to the back of my throat. Jesus, man. <laughs> what have I done? The glitch worked. I finally beat Spawn of Ogdo Bogdo. question is more 3d sonic you guys like 3d sonic i feel like nobody likes 3d sonic whenever i do play it ggs oh don't forget because i've been really bad about this today guys i finally got it i got it updated so if you guys have a discord and you want to join our discord you can get it for notifications are you going to play sonic and knucklehead next no not tonight maybe next week what's up charles Oh, thank you, Chris, for the 11 stars. I know that's the crazy thing, Pascal, is it's free. I wonder if it has a, a tag. Live and learn. Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Live and learn. More skills than you on this? Oh, no, 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 sir. No, no. You can't beat this without dying once. I don't want to hear nothing. You have uh, 99 lives on all of your files and all of your Chaos Emeralds. What's up, Adam? Welcome in. Thank you for the likes. Play Sonic Colors. I do have that. It's actually not a bad game. Some of the levels are a pain in the ass, though. Oh, you pinned the comment. There you go. Although I'm sure the bots will flag it as spam anyway and say, you're spamming your own chat. I see somebody joined in. Quantile. What's up, dude? I'll say hello to you. It is just for notifications if you're not a subscriber. If you decide to become a page subscriber, all the other channels will open up. And uh, you'll be able to hang out with us 
on a one-to-one -one basis. They do have an even chat going, and uh, they do play Fortnite every single day. Sonic Boom. Oh, no, I can never do Sonic Boom. Never again. I never want to play Sonic Boom again. I would rather play Sonic 06 before I ever, ever touch Sonic Boom ever again. To be honest, though, I can't really tell you which is a worse game. I, I can't tell you if Superman 64 or Sonic Boom is a worse game. 06, you say? Ugh. The little Echo of the Dolphins, yeah. <laughs> I bet you if Metal Sonic attached himself to the plane and turned on his jet turbine, it would be like super fast jet. Yeet both. Thank you, Josh. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that you, Josh? Are you Quantile Gaming? But that is our Discord, guys. Just so you know, when whenever we go live, um, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want you guys to have to rely on Facebook notifications. They're lame and they're not very good all the time. So Discord has been so amazing for notifications. Every time you see a at everyone and a Mr. Blast Cyborg or Blast Cyborg, I don't know what I call it. That's the bot for letting people know that we go live. So um, definitely check that out. If you become a page subscriber. You will get VIP access to the Discord as well. We have a shit ton of channels here. Um, we also have a level three Discord. So um, it, all the boosts and perks are unlocked. And if you decide to become a VIP, uh, well, if you decided to boost the server, you also get like the pink name at the top of the list there as well. So a couple little things here and there. Sweet. Thank you, Josh. I appreciate it. I'm not going to be streaming until November, but I made my game page. Ah, okay. No worries. That's cool, dude. I totally get it. You got to start somewhere. Actually, next month we're coming up five years, man. Uh, June or June 3rd. So um, it's crazy. Five years ago, almost, I started streaming on Facebook. And man, this platform has changed a lot. Good and bad. So thank you, Joel. Appreciate the like, man. If you guys haven't followed the page yet, I would appreciate it so, so much if you became a page follower as well. Uh, join in on that. And uh, we have a lot of stuff coming. Just... We just have to get there. So our Ranger special was awesome. I gave it a um, eight out of 10. I liked it. Be ready for church one later. I'm going to get going here as well, guys. I'm going to gear up for the uh, subscriber stream. I have no idea what I'm playing tonight. Um, I got no clue. So I appreciate it either way. If subscribers, you joined in whatever I chose to play. You can shoot the shit and hang out. And God, my throat still burns. I can feel the pepper in my throat. Thanks, Anna, for the pepper in my throat. I appreciate it so very much. And if you're not a subscriber, see you guys tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another game stream of something. Yeah, I don't know, Mackie. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. Thank you, Kyle, for the likes. I appreciate it. You guys and gals are amazing. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I always, always appreciate all the love and support and the hangouts with all of you. Because you're all amazing people. Thank you very much. Love you guys. The queen is the top star. She is on top of all of you. She won. <laughs> we'll reset. We'll get a new top star. Let's keep that train going. If you want to become a subscriber, you do get 12 streams a week instead of just the six. So keep that in mind, guys. $5 a month. That's it. Just like Pascal just said. $5 a month. And uh, it helps us grow the page and keep it full time and all the good stuff happening. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. Subscribers, I'll see you all in about an hour or so. Everyone else, I'll see you all tomorrow, 4 p.m. Have a great night and I'll see you on the next stream. Peace.